students and Grishma and you are watching my channel G tutorial today's class is on geometry and in today's class we will be studying about the centers of triangle this is one of the important topic for RRB NTPC as well as RRB JE exam if you like my video please subscribe to my channel for getting more RRB JE as well as RRB NTPC related videos now let us get to our portions uh, in today's class we will be studying mainly about four centers in center, circumcenter, centroid, and orthocenter. First, let us study about the in center. In center is a point of intersection of three angle bisectors. If you are considering a triangle ABC, the three angles are angle A, angle B, and angle C. The angle bisectors of them are AD is the angle bisector of angle A. That is, it divides this angle into two equal halves. Angle bisectors divide the angle into two equal halves. So, this angle will be equal to this angle. Similarly, uh, FC is another angle bisector and BE is the third angle bisector. The point of intersection of these three angle bisectors, this is known as in center. I is representing the in center and the radius of the circle, sorry, uh, we can say that this uh, center, in center is equidistant from the all three sides of the triangle and uh, if we are drawing a circle using this uh, distance and this the radius then the circle so obtained is called in circle and this radius is called in radius and it is denoted by R IE, ID, IF it is equal to in radius R and in radius is given by area of the triangle divided by semi perimeter semi perimeter means perimeter means total length of sides if sides of the triangle are a b and c and perimeter is given by a plus b plus c and semi perimeter is half of perimeter so we can denote perimeter by 2s 2s is a plus b plus c then s is called semi perimeter and s is equal to a plus b plus c by 2 and in radius is given by area by semi perimeter that is a by s now uh, let us study about some angles. The angle B I C. This angle. This angle is equal to 90 degree plus half of this angle. Half of angle A. Similarly, angle A I C. This angle. This angle is equal to 90 degree plus half of angle B. And similarly, angle A I B. This is equal to 90 plus half of angle C. These are the important things you have to note along with the topic in center. You have to study about this angle. You have to study the equation of in radius and you should know what is semi perimeter. In center is the point of intersection of three angle bisectors. Now we can move on to the next topic that is circumcenter. Circumcenter is the point of intersection of the perpendicular bisectors of the three sides of the triangle. Perpendicular bisector means uh, the line which is perpendicular to the sides and they divide the sides into two equal halves. And the point of intersection of these three perpendicular bisectors is called circumcenter. O is the circumcenter. Uh, so we can denote that. And this circumcenter is equidistant from the three vertex. A, B and C are the vertex of the triangle. And the circumcenter is equidistant. That is OB is equal to OA is equal to OC. And this is called circumradius. Which is denoted by capital R. And it is given by R is equal to. If A, B and C are the length of uh, three sides. Then A into B into C by 4 times the area. This is equal to the circumradius. Uh, and also you have to study the angle BOC. Angle BOC is 2 times angle A. Similarly, angle AOC is 2 times angle B. And AOB is this angle is 2 times angle C. So, you have to note this. You have to study what is uh, the formula for circumradius. And there is three main cases. The case of an acute angle triangle, obtuse angle triangle and right angle triangle. In case of acute angle triangle, the circumcenter lies inside the circle, inside the triangle. This is what is the general case. 
that is it is an acute angle to angle that is the each angle is uh, greater than 0 degree and less than 90 degree so in that case the circumcenter always lies within the triangle and in case of obtuse angular triangle it lies outside the triangle and it is in front of this obtuse angle obtuse angle means the angle one of the angle of the triangle is greater than 90 degree so in the in this case this is the obtuse angle and uh, the circumcenter will always be in front of this obtuse angle and it will be outside the triangle and in case of right angular triangle it, the circumcenter always lies at the midpoint of the hypotenuse this is the hypotenuse so on the midpoint of the hypotenuse the, oh, the circumcenter lies these are the three main cases now let us move on to the next topic that is centroid centroid is the point of intersection of all three medians. So you should know what is meant by median. Median is the line segment that joins the center of the side with the opposite vertex. So this is the median of this triangle. This is another median. This is another median. So the point of intersection of all three medians is called a centroid. It is denoted by the letter G. And the centroid divides the median. This is a median. The ratio 2 is to 1. This is important. Med it divides. Android divides the median in the ratio 2 is to 1. This distance is 2 and this distance is 1. Similarly, this distance is 2 and this distance is 1. AG is 2 and GD is 1. So, centroid divides the median. AD in the ratio 2 is to 1. AD, B and C of other 3 medians. Uh, next. Is median divides the area of the triangle in exactly two parts. If this is the median. This is a triangle. This is a median. Then it divides the triangle into two equal parts. But in the case of central, it divides the triangle into three equal. This is one part. This is the second part. And this one is the third part. Central divides the triangle into three equal parts. But median divides the triangle into two equal parts. Now let us study about the next center that is orthocenter. Orthocenter is a point of intersection of all three altitudes. Now we, let us see what is meant by altitude. Altitude is a perpendicular line that is drawn from the vertex to the opposite side. So in, in this case uh, AD is the altitude. That is it is drawn from vertex A to the opposite side BC. Similarly, B is another altitude and FC is another altitude. The meeting point of all three uh, altitude is known as orthocenter. That is denoted by the letter H. Uh, and let us see what is the angle BHC. It is equal to BHC is equal to 180 minus angle. Similarly, AHB is 180 minus angle C. And AHC is 180 minus angle B. This is the thing you have to study from the topic orthocenter. And in case of orthocenter also, there lies three cases. Acute angle triangle, obtuse angle triangle and right angle triangle. In case of acute angle triangle, that is uh, what we have seen. The orthocenter always lies inside the triangle. In case of obtuse angle triangle, it lies outside the triangle. Similarly, in the case of circumcenter also, uh, when uh, the triangle is obtuse angle, it lies outside the center but is in front of the obtuse angle. But in this case, the orthocenter lies back of the obtuse angle. This is obtuse angle and orthocenter lies back of the uh, obtuse angle and it is outside the triangle ABC. And in case of right angle a triangle, the orthocenter lies on the right angle, on the triangle at the right angle. Here that's the orthocenter. But in case of circumcenter, it lies on the midpoint of the hypotenuse. Now we have studied the four centers and important points we have to note from uh, the four centers of the triangle. Now let us uh, note something which is very important. Let us study the case of an equilateral triangle. In an equilateral triangle, all centers lies at the same point. That is... Uh, in center, circumcenter, centroid, and orthocenter lies at the same point. That is within the triangle ABC. 
Equilateral triangle means all sides equal. Let all sides be A. Then, the area of an equilateral triangle is given by root 3 A square by 4. We know that in radius R is area by semi-perimeter. Semi-perimeter is equal to, in this case, semi-perimeter is equal to A plus A. All sides are equal to A, A by 2. That is 3A by 2. So, in radius is equal to area is root 3A square by 4 and semi-perimeter is 3A by 2. So, it is equal to A by 2 root 3. A by 2 root 3. And uh, in the case of circumradius, formula is A, B, C by 4 into A. A, B and C are equal to A. So, A into A into A divided by 4 into area is root 3. A square by 4. 4 and 4 get cancelled. A square and A square get cancelled. So, A by root 3 is the value of circumradius. Similarly, altitude. Altitude is equal to, this is the altitude. It divides this into two equal halves. Total distance A is A. So, this is A by 2. So, this distance altitude is equal to root of, this is a right angle and triangle. So, Hypotenuse square minus base square gives the value of altitude. So, root of a square minus a square by 4 which is root 3 a by 2. This is the value of altitude. This is the value of circumcenter and this is the value of in center for an equilateral triangle. Now, we just study some important theorems from uh, this topic. If the sides AB and AC are produced uh, to D and E, then the bisectors of these angles meet at O, then the angle BOC is given by 90 minus half angle. If you are considering a triangle ABC and we are extending the sides AB to D and AC to E, and BO and OC are the angle bisectors, it meet at point O. Then this angle is given by 90 minus half of angle A. And in the case of in center, it is equal to this angle, this is O and this angle is equal to 90 plus angle A. And if it, if it is bisecting the angle outside, then it is given by 90 minus half angle A. Next point is, in triangle ABC, if AD is angle bisect, that is, it divides these two angles uh, and A is perpendicular to line BC. Then, angle DAE is given by half of angle ABC minus angle ACB. AD is a perpendicular angle bisector and AE is perpendicular. Then, this angle is given by half of this angle plus minus this angle. Next point. Next point is, if BC is produced to D and AE is the angular bisector of this angle, then angle ABC plus angle ACD is two times this angle AEC. Angle ABC, BC is produced to D and AE is the angle bisector of angle A, then this angle, twice this angle gives the sum of angle ABC plus ACD. Another point is, if side BC is produced to D and uh, bisectors of angle ABC and angle ACD meet at point E, these two bisectors meet at point E, then angle BEC is half of this angle, half angle BEC. BE and CE are the angle bisectors of this point. Then this angle is half of this angle. BAC. Half of BAC is BEC. Next is AD is a perpendicular drop down BC. From a vertex A, a perpendicular is drawn to the other side BC. 
Then there arise two cases. This is the case of obtuse acute angle triangle and there is a case of an obtuse angle triangle. In both cases, a perpendicular is drawn from vertex A to uh, the opposite side BC. In the case of acute angle triangle, AC square, this side square, AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square minus BD into BC, BD into BC. AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square minus BD into BC. And in case of uh, an obtuse angle triangle, AD is a perpendicular to the side BC. BC is extended and then perpendicular is drawn. Then AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. Here there comes plus side plus BD into BC. Plus BD into BC. This is the case of an obtuse angle. So now we have studied uh, many important top main topics, main important points from the topic centers of triangle. If you are having any doubt, you can comment below and in the next class, we will be doing problems based on these, what we have studied in today's class. Thank you.